Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Ross here. Episode 11 of Brexit has a lot to go on. We need to really kind of finish up with a lot of small things. We're going to start a couple of wars as well uh, in the meantime. But we're going to call this Operation Clean Sweep, and that's really what we're doing. We're just going to clean up a lot of things. Uh, we're going to clean up the United States. We have a massive push coming from the East Coast. We have some massive invasions coming from the West Coast that I set up for coming from Japan. Um, kind of uh, though noted, I need to actually kind of adjust some things to take these smaller islands. Um, we're going to clean out the uh, islands of t uh, also with the Philippines, make sure that we take away any of the ports that the America has to kind of keep on pushing them back. Uh, Brazil's almost finished here as well. We're going to just keep on pushing our troops forward and that should help out as well. Now we're actually going to uh, start with our Yemen war here. We're going to just uh, justify our war goal right away and select send and then as well over here the same thing so once we get those two started the next thing we're going to do is actually go over to back to uh england and we're going to select our 65 unit here we're going to get make an army of 17 then we're going to make an oh shit well six plus that is 23 okay 21 let's see well, we just need to get down to one, right? So one for there, and then we need to get down to three, right? There we go, three. So now we got two uh, airborne units, but we're not going to actually use airborne stuff quite yet. What we're going to do first is we're going to assign these guys actually on borders of uh, Lithuania and Estonia. Uh, we're going to kind of clean up Europe as we go uh, on as well. Since uh, these guys don't have much to do, at least they'll get them some experience as well as get this kind of cleaned up so we don't have to do it later. I'm going to try even in later series as well is that I, I think I'm in a habit where I kind of concentrate on one front. And if I maybe took the time, I could actually set up multiple fronts. And I think I overload some areas as well. Um, like the United States, I mean, has 188 units right now. Now. We had 200, so where did those, uh, you know, those 22, you know, not 22 units, but those 12 units go? I don't know. Um, but nonetheless, they're gone. And so I might have lost them. Uh, another guy on comments said to take Chicago and liberate them from the evil American uh, empire. Well, we did that. Uh, so, you, brother, you're liberated. So welcome to Canada. Well, not Canada. What are you talking about, Ross? God damn it. Welcome to the British Empire. Wow. Yeah, I might be a little bit tired. Uh, so let's get the clock rolling here. We're going to get these wars started, hope, get these uh, naval invasions started. Um, actually, what I'm going to do here is actually a couple things. Let's get um, our Western U.S. invasion force. I would like to edit some of these. So we're going to go edit mode. Hopefully click on one. It really doesn't matter which one. Just any one. Any singular one. Okay, so that's one. Uh, so we'll undo that, and let's see, we'll send them here, okay, we'll go back to edit mode, select this one, go to, nope, we have to unselect, I forgot, shit, uh, edit mode, which one, which one did we get? Oh, hold on, we, we, we hit the wrong button, okay, there we go, edit mode. We'll get rid of that landing spot, and then we'll change it to Midway. And... Let's see. We'll select these uh, six guys. Yeah. Uh, we'll make it eight. How about eight? So these eight guys, we will go from... Well, shit, I don't think we can actually go from anything right now. We'll have to wait for those to play out. So we'll wait for those to play out and we'll go capture that island as well. Or maybe we'll change existing ones. So we're going to try to capture all these smaller islands. We'll get onto Hawaii. Um, we don't really need... Well, we need them for bases, but we don't need to capture them to end any kind of wars. Uh, what else are we going to do here? Um, I don't know. De de development in Canada? Like, is it going to help me now? I mean, I don't, I don't think so. <laughs> but we'll do it. Um... And those are going. Our armies are pushing massively. Like, just look at all these green numbers. They're just moving very smoothly. Going through the bottom part of the eastern United States. And I'm actually surprised about how easily and freely we are moving through the United States. I'm very, very impressed. Oh, our justification's done. Let's, uh, let's go over here. 
Okay, so these justifications are done. So let's select this army. We'll start his plan. We will declare our wars. Declare, send, and declare, send. So we'll start those, and those armies will start going, doing their thing. What do we got going here? Uh, let's get the next tactical bomber since it's only 26 days uh, since we got that one research. So that's going to help out. Um, what else? We're going to have to make our plans for Italy soon. Um, but we, I would like to finish this war. And I don't know if I need to take out the United... I know I have to take out the United States. I know I have to take out Canada. I know I have to take out Brazil. I don't... I think I have to take out Mexico. I th don't know if I have to take out all the smaller islands, but I'm... Going... Oh. Well, the United States capitulated, but that's not the peace demands. The peace demands is take all states for uh, these two, which... Well, we can't, so we'll reset, and then we'll pass it with ourselves. A lot of people are saying puppet. Well, not a lot of people, only really a couple. Um, puppet stuff. I just, I don't want to. Like, quite honestly, I, I don't want to. I want to see everything owned by me. I don't have to deal with a lot of different things, so... Why would I... I don't know. It's just, why would I puppet? Um... And I guess is in my defense. Let's get a fallback line. We're going to get a fallback line right here. We're not going to put them on a border since it's an ally. We the, All the troops will just kind of bunch up. Um, I didn't even know we had this guy over here. Um, but we'll give him a fallback line as well. Whoa. Yep. Okay, so we'll get that. So we do have some armies here ready to rock and roll. Um, okay, these guys are all good. They're all set up. Um, they don't have any organization bonuses or, or planning bonuses. But I'm really not too worried about that. So let's uh, actually just justify our war goals. Uh, get this kind of started. Justify war goal. Oh, we do have to worry about... We just took, uh, capitulated the United States. So we have a lot of micromanagement to do here to kind of close this shit up, don't we? Um, so let's get... See, like, these guys will sign there... These guys will sign to attack there. These guys will have sign attack down here. So forth and so on, just to kind of close this up as best we can before, like, they all just go their separate ways, in a sense. Because we don't want them to go all separate ways. Okay, hold on. There we go. Um, let's see. We still have... We still have uh, things that we need to take for Canada. That's 188 divisions. Okay, that's not going to where we want it. Or from where we want it. There we go. Um, so yeah, I've changed my hard drive. I don't know if... I think I mentioned this in, in the beginning. I don't know. But yeah, I changed my hard drive. Or not, I didn't change my hard drive. I added a solid state drive. And um, I tried to make it my primary system drive. It didn't work. I mean, I copied everything. Everything is imaged, and there's a, you know, clone image of it. But, um, yeah, I can't make it my actual system drive. Because what I would like to do is I had a, I got a new one, a double the size of my my previous solid state drive. I'm up to, like, 500-something, whatever, gigabytes. And what I want to do is make that my new system drive. Because, you know, um, solid state drives actually have a fail point. You know, they have so many uh, read writes they do, and they have so much data that they can do before they actually eventually just kind of give out. Now, I wanted to do that, or how do you say, switch it out before that fail safe point. And then what I wanted to do is make that old drive my, I guess you would say, recording drive, meaning that I would record straight to that drive. And it's substantially uh, faster than what I've been doing, which is recording to a magnetic hard drive. Um, so. I did that, I installed it and everything, but it's not quite working how I want it to work as I can't make it my system drive. Um, some other things about it is I, um, there's some, been some clicking noises that my, just recently started, I cleaned my computer the other day, I took some air can, uh, air can to get some of the dust out and everything, and... Now there's like, it sounds like my CPU fan or something is clicking in there. Now I took out, I after the clicking started, I took out everything. I took out the, um, 
Vi to the to both video cards, I have two 970s and SLI. I took them out. I pretty much try to tear apart as much as I was willing to kind of tear apart. And in that like, you know, 10, 15 minutes of tearing apart and cleaning it out, I retightened some screws. I made sure that, you know, all the brackets were good and everything, but it's still clicking. So I thought maybe it was a wire that kind of like it got stuck in a fan because that's what it sounds like. It sounds like almost like uh, if you were ever a kid and you had a bicycle and you put a oh gosh I'm showing my age here but um if you ever put a playing card in in the spokes and it made that da -da 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 -da, that's what it sounds like it just sounds like a, cl a constant clicking noise where it's hitting that card over and over again uh, per se um but yeah I hope you guys can't hear it I really do because if you can you guys can hear it, that's gonna ruin all my videos. I mean, it's annoying to me, but at least when I'm talking and I can hear, like, you know, the game's running, I'm not hearing it as much as when I have the headphones off or if I'm, you know, watching TV or something, then it hear it, and, you know, substantially annoys me. But I hope that you guys can't hear it because if it annoys me when I'm just like sitting here, I can't imagine if you tuning into my channel and listening to uh, me talk and then hearing in the background this consistent and constant uh, clicking noise. I would f think that would be pretty annoying for the general public that watches my videos. Um, I'm gonna get artillery number three. We're in August of 44 here. We're moving al along quite well in time and everything else. Um, very happy with our progress, except for my Navy's progress. That I kind of wish would go a little bit better. We're getting close to modern tanks. As soon as 45 comes, I think we'll start training modern tanks. Whoa, what happened here, dude? You went like balls to the wall or something. Can we can we get a rescue mission? I don't what did you do? I don't remember sending you that far ahead. Can we get you there? They they really don't like to operate in uh, the Amazon. I can tell you that. Now, as a soldier, I would probably tell you I wouldn't be very happy uh, operating in the Amazon either. I would probably be bitching quite a lot. Uh <laughs> because that just sounds horrible <laughs> and hot and lots of mosquitoes. I mean, Iraq was hot, but uh, it was, I mean, as they always say, a lot of you'll hear a lot of veterans say, oh, but it was a dry heat. I mean, it was a dry heat. You're not dealing with hum like a massive amount of humidity. Um, you know, sometimes summers in like Arkansas, it can be worse than uh, summers in Iraq just because it, it was hot in Iraq, but it was not the humidity aspect which really does matter okay we have to again uh, reset pass with ourselves and then take all our states so we cleaned up the, uh, Europe there so operation uh, clean sweep is going very well um let's see here these 24 armies we're gonna sign actually over here and these 24 armies we'll sign over here and then we'll set our goal there and we'll set our goal here. Now that's just for the impending doom that will come to Italy. We'll have that set up. They'll have a good in initiative. Um, seriously, why isn't this starting? South Pacific, start. Go. Just go. You don't want to go? What's wrong? Convoys? What? We have 4,803 convoys used... 4,000 is on trade and supplies? Wow. Interesting. <laughs> um, I'm a little baffled by that one. Um, substantially. Substantially baffled. Okay, so let's get that done. Uh, we don't really need to do naval invasions anymore for Western United States. We could actually just sail there. But we do need to get these invasion plans started. Is and seriously no one going? What what, do you, what invasions taking two hundred and sixty five four days? Please tell me. Oh man. Okay, let's. I don't know what's going on here, but let's delete these. Oh gosh, we still have one that's going two hundred sixty four days. Okay, let's assign everything to here. Let's assign nine there. And then nine there. Can you go now? Gosh. 
sometimes these naval invasions are giving me headaches. Lacks sufficient in uh, intel in Western Emperor Chin. Okay. Where's Western Emperor Chin? Uh, over here? Okay, so what navy is over here? Shit. I wish there was a way to find this out. Other than going like this. Okay, so let's get rid of this one. Okay, so we'll move those over. Okay, that, so that's that. Um, okay, we're going to get the next airborne, because I do want to use some airborne troops. I'm not going to train Marines. It's just a little bit too late now. Um, is it, it's still not 45 yet. Um... Man, I really got, hope you guys can't hear that clicking. Uh, let's see. Armor. Still can't get 45 tanks yet. Okay, let's get... No, no. Can't get logistics either. Let's get signal company then. At least get something. Man, the, I can't believe the uh, the convoy situation. It's, uh, it's really impressive. I'm kind of baffled by it. Okay, so this army actually is now somewhat coming down here. Let's assign them this war goal. Let's make them aggressive, a charge. Let's make this guy, okay, he's aggressive. Let's make this guy aggressive. There we go with that. Um, let's get, well, I mean, none of these things actually matter right now. Uh, unread convoys. Okay, well, we sunk three convoys. That's good. I'm still very amazed at this convoy situation. I mean, well, maybe we have less now since we had somehow a naval invasion that was going to take 245 days to plan. Maybe we got some back. I don't know. Well, we're going to get some back here once we land here. Okay, so that's that. So we can delete that order. Uh, where's the next island we need to take? Okay, we got this island. So let's select this army. Let's delete that one. Do we get into Hawaii yet? Okay, no Hawaii yet. We're on our way for the next one now. So let's... Let's select this guy to go to here. And we'll hit enter. And then we'll select this guy to go from here to... Uh, yeah, why not? We'll have him go here. Okay, so that's that. Um... We need to find the Navy, though, for Philippines. Philippines C will stop his, because no stuffer is coming from there now. Uh, we will kind of redo the fleet there. And then, so that one's good. Shit. Man, I... Sometimes these, it's just, it's kind of hard to tell where some things are going and where other things are. Okay, we're lacking, okay, now we're lacking Philippine Sea. Oh, God damn it. I think I just ruined everything. Okay, let's start with the bottom. So Philippines, okay, let's just stop everything. We just have to clear everything out. And, oh, hold on. We actually have to hit the clear button. Let's hit the clear button for everything. And then we'll reassign these kind of one by, whoop, well, one by one. And there we go. So let's start from the bottom. So we need the Philippine Sea. We need the, there, we need coast of Japan. Okay, so that solves that. Let's go to the second fleet. We're gonna need, I don't think we need Bismarck, but we will need, shit. We'll need that one, that one, and that one. Okay. Next fleets. Nope, nope. Fleet one. Shit. Okay, again, assign mission. Okay. Then this one will assign. Damn it, and hit the mission again. 
and then this one will sign like that. That should solve that. This is just an, the home base one that's just trained, but we will actually assign it Mexico and Western United States. There we go. Uh, we should accept that. Whoops. Oh, well. Okay, so that's that. Brazil is about to fall. We just need to take this, push in there. Push our armies. Push. Push. Okay, so we got that. We're not going to really worry about moving air forces up right now. I mean, it's a lot of micromanagement at this point to try to secure all these little things. Um, okay, Canada is going fairly well. I mean, it could be go better. We're having problems with taking Vancouver, it looks like, of all things. Let's try to slam some troops over there. So Mexico will go well. Uh, island defense is going well. Uh, not too discontent with that. Okay, so all our little wars are over. I mean, only thing we really have left is Italy. I mean, I know we could take Nepet and Tibet and Nepal and... Yeah. Um, actually, you know what? Just to make you guys happy, I will take 12... Let's see. 9... 12... And then... Was it 3? So we'll take these... Uh, this army... Out of supply. Oh, actually, that's a really good one. Where the heck has that guy been all my life? We're going to take this guy, okay? And we're going to assign him to bet. And where's the capital? I don't see a capital. Oh, there it is. Okay, so we're going to assign them that. He's going to go over there. And we'll start taking those countries just to make you guys happy. Because I know that he, some of you are going to be kind of disappointed that I don't take those small countries. So... I'll try to uh, please you as best I can. Um, okay, well, we took another island. Island hopping like a pro. Like a pro. Uh, let's land here. Again, assign. Is there any divisions on this one? I feel like that should have went by now. Western Emperor... See... Seriously, we still have issues? Okay, I know the last one was a repeat of stuff, so let's see. Western Emperor. There we go. Let's get that. See if that helps facilitate some of this. Oh, oh gosh, why are we so low on time? Have I really been running the time on speed three? That's very unlike me. Very unlike me. Now, of course, in the late games, you're going to see some stuttering and everything as you start zooming in. But it is actually performing a lot better now that I have the uh, writing onto the solid state drive. I, I can can tell it is doing a little bit better. Um, but these late games, when we have so many units, uh, and also we control most of the units as well, meaning uh, in the sense of the entire game, we actually control most of the units in the game, and also most of the units are on our screen. So even though like we're not looking at it, all these British Raz troops are being uh, accounted for, all the Italian troops are being accounted for, and then also all the... Uh, well, any of our opposition is being accounted for. So anything that we can see is being actively rendered at the same time that we are playing. And it does not matter where we're looking on the screen, that is still running, if that makes sense. And actually, even battles that you don't see are still running, because you can see that even, like, if you're playing, like, if you look at my China Let's Play, uh, you can see that um, 
I can look into Europe and see there's battle symbols and everything. So all those things are running in the background. Every plane, every tank, every uh, ship is still running. And so when you get into these late games, you're going to see uh, some performance issues go down. And you can see right there, like, that was kind of a stutter back and forth there. Um, but that is very normal and to be expected. And I'm running two 970s. I'm running a really good uh, Intel Core chip uh, set as well. So it's not like I'm running, like, a crappy system at all. Um, hey, we got artillery number three. That's awesome. Let's see. Let's get rid of that. Oh, no, no, no. Let's go to here. Let's find artillery. Artillery number three. Okay. Artillery number three. Artillery number three. A little short in guns, it seems. Can we get... Okay, we still haven't done that one. Okay. That's fine. Let's get the final stage of artillery just to finish it up. Um, it is... It's still not 45 yet. Gosh damn. I'm, I'm kind of impressed with the amount that we've taken over yet. Uh, if we can actually finish this war on the Allies before the end of 45... I think that's a major accomplishment. If we can take over Italy as well before the end of 45, that's even more of an uh, a, uh, um, accomplishment. I'll be very happy with uh, the series if that actually happens. Um, if the end of Italy by the end of 45, it might be a little bit hard to do. Not because Italy is going to be hard to take. It's just that I really do want to have a very elaborate plan for Italy. Um, I mean, they have 110 units here, 67 up here, 20. I mean, you can see they have a shit ton of units. So we're going to have a shit ton of units. We're going to have crazy amount of plans. We're going to have plans all over the place. We're going to have airborne invasion drops. We're going to have air domination. We're quite literally just going to have anything and everything possible. Hey, we're landing troops on... Uh, kind of has, has capitulated. We're landing troops on multiple different islands now. Uh, United States is about to land. Oh, or not the United States, but we're land, about to land on Hawaii. And whatever this island is. Line Islands. The only problem with the Line Islands is I think we would actually have to take each one one by one. Which that's annoying, to say the least. Let's see. Let's see if we can get onto Hawaii. Uh, what's this one? Johnston Atoll. Okay. Uh, okay, so we're actually, we got two different invasions going for Hawaii. So hopefully we can attack from both different positions. And that would be awesome. Let's, uh... Their organization is not too bad right now. Uh, Mexican opposition has capitulated. That's great. Uh, let's see. Let's uh, get some attacks going. Finish them out as best we can. As always, we'll just stack on there. Are we at war with anybody else down here other than Panama? Well, we do need to get into Havana. Um... Let's see here. Let's get these. What? This is 11 troops. Okay, let's get 11 troops. We're going to land down here. Are we... Who else are we awarded? Uh, Haiti. And Puerto Rico. Did we not just get Puerto... We didn't get Puerto Rico as... Like anything. Which is okay. Uh, let's get these 10 to go from here to... Puerto Rico. We'll land straight in the capital or the... Port of Puerto Rico. Uh, let's see. We had this uh, fleet over here. Oh, wow. Look at this. We had some... We lost a destroyer. We lost a destroyer. I mean, killed another destroyer. Uh, we're going to take this guy. We're gonna Since we don't have control of Panama, he has to sail all the way around. But we'll send him back over here. and kind of patrol that area. And... Uh, we're killing more American ships. As, as we push them out, you know, we're going to push them out of their ports. They're going to be on sea more. What the hell happened? Oh, okay. <laughs> I almost freaked out. I was like, where the hell is the army? I was like, there's no way they got beat. I would just want to wait for this army here. Oh, come on, just land. Just land. Come on. Land. Thank you. Okay, so these two armies have landed. Let's... Okay, hold on. Let's get these guys going. Okay, so that's that. Attack from the other side now. Once this battle is won, we'll just switch these troops down here. Okay, so we don't need them to go down here, but we'll finish that out. So Hawaii has captured. Operation Clean Sweep is pretty much uh, in full effect here, and we're almost done with it. Um, our army is closing on Tibet. Uh, we've cleared out a lot of these small islands as well. Um, yeah, I mean, they got some islands down here. Uh, obviously, it gives them still operational control of a decent part of the area. I mean, I don't... 
I'm not too worried about it. It's just really something for my troops to do. I mean, I do have like 40 something troops over here just kind of waiting, don't I? I forgot about them. When you have this large of an army, sometimes it's just, uh, it's a little, what the heck happened over here? Oh shit. I did not see Argentina go to war with us. Uh oh. Well, to close this out, we're gonna respond to the Argentina aggression. These bastards have decided that they can declare war on us. Um, we're gonna get those two planes overhead. <laughs> oh man. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoy this series. Um, I, I'm very happy again with how it's going. I know I keep on saying that every episode, but I'm actually just am decently happy as a human person, a human being from, and so one human being to another, wherever you are in the world, thank you for tuning in. Thank you for watching. I greatly appreciate it. Um, when I started this channel back in 2013, like I, I was like, you know, when I first started, I was like, oh, you know, I'll be big and everything. It, it doesn't happen overnight. That's for damn sure. Um, and, you know, three years later, just to be even at 8,000, uh, I think is actually kind of a blessing. I know there's other YouTubers that explode a lot faster. Uh, it did take me a lot of time to learn how to edit videos and how to produce videos and stuff like that. So, you know, from the bottom of my heart, thank you for tuning in. As always, though, I'm The Flying Ross, and I'll check you guys next time.